Hello everyone you are watching funny EHS info in this presentation we are going to know about ammonia handling safety introduction ammonia NH3 is a component of nitrogen and hydrogen it is a colorless and pungent gas it is the simplest stable compound of these elements that help produce various commercially necessary nitrogen compounds as it serves as the starting material. Also, it is known as ammonium hydroxide in its aqueous form. The inorganic compound has a pungent smell. It's commonly used as a fertilizer and also in the production of explosives such as nitrocellulose and TNT. It is also useful in producing soda ash and the production of nitric acid in the Ostwald process. Chemical and Physical Properties of Ammonia The chemical formula of ammonia is NH3. Molecular weight molar mass of the ammonia is 17.031 g mol. The density of ammonia is lighter than air, which is 0.73 kg per cubic meter. It has a boiling point of minus 33.34 degrees Celsius and melting point of minus 77.73 degrees Celsius. Threshold limit value, TLV, of 35 ppm. Short-term exposure limit, STL, 25 ppm. Ammonia is known to act as a weak base because it mixes with several acids to become salt. For example, when reacted with hydrochloric acid, ammonia is converted to ammonium chloride. Hazards properties of ammonia Hazardous gas under pressure Liquid causes burns Gas extremely irritating 1. Safe handling instructions for ammonia Wear personal protective equipment to work with liquid ammonia, you may need eye, face, and skin protection. Take hot work permitting precautions whenever hot work will be performed in areas where ammonia is present. If piping, vessels, or containers that have held ammonia will be welded, soldered, drilled, or cut, purge all ammonia first. Use proper ventilation. Never work with ammonia in an unventilated area. Always ensure that you have adequate ventilation and make sure that ventilation is non-sparking or explosion proof. Store ammonia separately from incompatible chemicals, away from heat and ignition sources. Know what to do in case of a spill or leak. When you work with ammonia, Know where the emergency escape respirators are located. If ammonia leaks or is spilled, put on a respirator and leave the area immediately. Report the spill or leak so it can be appropriately controlled. Know how to respond to splashes. Liquid ammonia can burn your eyes. Know where the emergency eye wash is stored in your work area and how to use it. In case of contact, immediately flush skin or eyes with plenty of water for at least 15 minutes under eye and body wash shower. Make a call to safety and OHC. In case of minor leak use toxic gas leak control kit to arrest the leak and inform to superiors for further instructions. Always handle ammonia toners by trained and experienced persons only. Preventive and protective measures at ammonia storage and handling areas. Engineering controls. Ammonia toner are kept in horizontal direction and stored dedicated place without getting any harm damage to the spindle valve of the cylinder. Valve protection guards are available to the cylinders. Use pressure rated pipe lines and systems for transferring. Use PTFE gaskets for flanges. 
non-sparking tools to be used for handling ammonia system. Closed enclosure to be provided for toners to avoid direct sunlight. All instruments, electrical fittings must be zoned to classified. Online leak detection system synchronized with water sprinkler system. SRVs to be provided on holding tank and vaporizer. Rupture disc to be provided on liquid manifold line. Water curtain system to be installed at ammonia handling area. Administrative controls. SOP for operation, maintenance and safe shutdown and startup procedure for ammonia system. Checklist for handling ammonia toner. Display of safety and emergency information. There must be proper training to be conducted for those who involved in handling of ammonia. Emergency handling systems required at ammonia handling area. Sensor detection, lighting indication, red activation, green healthy condition. Water sprinkler system activation automatically, PPM 25. Audible hooter. Toxic gas leak control kit. Enclosure for toner. Self-contained breathing apparatus. Emergency PP kit. Trained leak control team. Scrubbing system. 5% HCL solution. Fire extinguisher. Personal protective equipments required. Safety helmet. Splash goggles. Neoprene. Gloves. Cartridge mask. SCBA PYVKC Breathing Air Suit Gum Shoes Emergency Procedure in Case of Ammonia Gas Leak Whenever you noticed any smell leakage from the toner or line immediately move to upwind direction and check the leakage with chlorine torch. If you notice white fumes informed the same to superior and safety team by public addressing system or telephone or by shouting orally. Evacuate the unnecessary people from the location. If the leak is on the line, then one end valve will be kept in closed position and another end will have connected to the scrubber. Switch on a water curtain system on escaping gas vapors as to contain in a bund. Collect the bounded water and send to ETP. Whenever you notice fire on the line or toner, immediately operate the emergency siren MCP or by public addressing system. Operate nearby DCP carbon dioxide fire extinguisher if you trained on it handling or communicate orally to the others by shouting as fire. Fire If the fire is not controlled, then emergency crew will control the situation. Without controlling the fire, no possibility to stop the toner leakage. Provide a water curtain on escaping emission gases and to cool the toner as to contain in a bund. Collect bounded water and send to ETP. This is all about ammonia storage and handling safety. If you require notes for this presentation, Please use link given in description box and please don't forget to subscribe and share our videos and visit our website. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.